Cela se rapporte à l'événement de la Pentecôte. C'est la promesse de Dieu que le prophète Joël a sorti. Et que l'apôtre Pierre ici rappelle. Nous prenons à partir du verset 16 pour comprendre la suite. Nous lisons ensemble. Acte 2, 16 jusqu'à 18. Mais c'est ce qui a été dit par le prophète Joël. Dans les derniers jours, Dieu dit Je répandrai mon esprit sur toutes tes chairs. Vos fils et vos filles prophétiseront. Vos jeunes gens auront des visions et vos vieillards auront des songes. Oui, sur mes serviteurs et sur mes servantes, dans ces jours-là, je répandrai de mon esprit et ils prophétiseront. Je... On s'arrête là, on reprend. Mais ce qui a été dit par le prophète de Joël, dans les derniers jours, dit Dieu, je répandrai de mon esprit sur toutes les chairs, vos fils et vos filles prophétiseront, vos jeunes gens auront des visions et vos vieillards auront des songes. Oui, sur mes serviteurs et sur mes servantes, dans ces jours-là, je les vendrai de mon esprit. Et ils prophétiseront. Alléluia. Amen. Et après, nous allons prendre Jean chapitre 14. Et nous allons Jean chapitre 14. Nous allons lire le verset 7. Nous allons lire le verset 17. Nous lisons ensemble l'esprit de vérité que le monde ne peut pas recevoir parce qu'il ne le voit pas et ne le connaît pas, mais vous, vous le connaissez parce qu'il est l'heure que de vous et qu'il sera en vous. Je ne vous laisserai pas au frère, je viens vers vous. Alléluia. Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer le Seigneur Nous nous asseyons. Le message aujourd'hui, nous l'avions déjà annoncé, nous avions parlé du Saint-Esprit, nous avons parlé de la demande que nous faisons pour avoir le Saint-Esprit. Nous avons dit pour vous avoir le Saint-Esprit, nous devons commencer par accepter de être brisés, brisés par le Seigneur, diminués in order to give space to the Holy Spirit. You have to make an effort to walk in sanctification. To ask with faith. Demander avec foi. Asking for faith. Accepter de mourir. Accepting to die. Ce que nous sommes. What we are. Ne peut pas recevoir le Saint Esprit. We cannot receive the Holy Spirit. What you are. You cannot receive the Holy Spirit. Il n'y a que quand tu es brisé. It's only when you are broken down. Quand tu es tu meurs en toi-même. When you die in yourself. Pour vivre selon l'Esprit. In order to live according to the Spirit. Vivre dans le Seigneur. In order to live in the Lord. Peux-tu recevoir le Saint Esprit? Can you receive the Holy Spirit? Notre nature à nous. So our nature. Tel que nous sommes. As we are born. Tel que nous avons grandi. As we grow. As we have studied, as we have gone through experiences, cannot receive the Holy Spirit. The Lord must break us down. He must change us and give us the form that He wants in order for space to be within us to receive the Holy Spirit. So we took time to prepare ourselves. If we ask as we should, we faith in trust in the Lord. Now we want to see how to receive the Holy Spirit. Il y a des choses qui peuvent paraître cachées aux yeux. Mais tout se trouve dans la Bible. Il faut que Dieu nous donne la révélation. Pour comprendre sa parole. Qu'est-ce qu'il veut dire? Qu'est-ce qu'il veut dire? Qu'est-ce qu'il veut dire? Qu'est-ce que le Seigneur m'a fait? Qu'est-ce que le The Holy Spirit. There are people that have the Holy Spirit. We know them. We see them. We see things in them. It surprises us. But my own situation, my own case, I've already had an experience with the Holy Spirit. Not yet. I'm coming to church. There are things happening. I see. But me, myself, what is my personal experience? What is happening between me and the Holy Spirit? What can I see? Am I sure that what I see, what I live, it is this? Is it what the Bible says? Are there questions? What is happening with me? Because they preach, they preach, they pray, they sing. The ambience is there, but I see nothing. I see nothing. What is the problem? 
questions. We can have many questions. The answers are not in the Bible. The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit is here. We just read the prophecy of Joel. In the last days, I will send my Spirit upon all. This is the promise of God. And when Jesus Christ came, this promise was accomplished. On the day of Pentecost, the Spirit of God was repented. Not only given, but There is a dimension of the gospel in the Bible. In John 3:34, the Bible says that the Lord God gives His Spirit without measure. It means when God gives His Spirit, He gives, and He gives in abundance. He gives for each person. This simple passage, biblical passage, you must take an important place in it. When God gives, He gives a lot. He's not like a human company. He gives a lot. He gives in abundance. He gives, abundance. He gives above what you ask. Above what you even think. Above what you think. And I must live in this reality that when I ask, the Lord will give me. He will not only give me what I ask for, He will give me even more than that. Still in the Bible, We learn that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So when God created us, He wanted, He wished in us the Holy Spirit was what? And Jesus Christ came. He opened the way. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came down. And the Holy Spirit only has one desire, and that is to dwell in the Christian, in your body, in my body. The Spirit of God wants. But do I? Do I open the door? The Holy Spirit is sent. He wants to. We read this passage in John 14, where the Lord says that the Spirit that is amongst you and that will be within you, the desire of the Lord is, it is not for Him to be in the room, it is not for the Spirit to be in this room, but His desire goes further for the Holy Spirit to be in your life, it is not for the Holy Spirit to be in the life of this brother, of this sister, but in my life, me that is here, the Holy Spirit to be within me. But do I understand it? Is my body ready to receive the Holy Spirit? Is my body ready available so that the Holy Spirit can come and dwell within me? It is not to reside around me. It is not to be inside me, left, right, or in front. But it is within me to dwell in for the Holy Spirit to be well within me. We said in all the messages that the Spirit of God, the Counselor, the God, the God it is Him that renders possible the miracles of God. The miracles of God, it's all that we see that we cannot have the human way. In a natural way, it cannot happen. It can be healing. It can be a favor. It can be a solution to a problem. But above this physical problem, there are limits in here on the earth. The miracles of God, the greatest, it is our transformation. So we cannot be transformed. We cannot become children of God. Our bodies cannot be ready to receive the Spirit of God. If the Holy Spirit so this miracle that we are incapable of doing it is what the Spirit of God comes to accomplish. That's why the Lord says, I will not leave you orphans. I will not leave you as 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 orphans. We're speaking of the Holy Spirit, but are you ready? Am I ready to receive the Holy Spirit? Am I ready? Oh, I pray and I insist, but I do not understand. My attitude can block the Holy Spirit. Amen. He is there at the door. He is knocking. He wants to enter in each and every single one. 
But my attitude, my attitude I mean, in your, internally, inside you, you, you will see throughout the message that the greatest problem with the Holy Spirit, the greatest difficulty that we have, it is the heart. It is not left, it is not right, it is not others, it is not mind, it is not demons, it is my heart. It is my heart. Do I have a heart that is prepared? A heart that is ready to receive the Holy Spirit. And knowing who the Holy Spirit is. And knowing who God is. That He has come to have me. And that when He comes. And when He comes. When He comes. What he hopes for me is for me to take the decision that from this moment on, I humble myself and I let him lead me. When the Holy Spirit fills with me, that this disposition is there, that when he comes, I will give him the control of my life, he will come. But do I have this attitude internally? Is my heart prepared? Is my heart disposed in order for this Holy Spirit to come? There's no rivalry with the Holy Spirit. You cannot be in the Holy Spirit to be while at the head of the direction. I cannot do this. So if I open the door to the Holy Spirit, it means I humble myself. I am embraced. Things can seem normal to me, but the Holy Spirit orientates me differently. I do what the Holy Spirit does. And when I have this heart that is prepared, that is disposed, I will see the power of it. And His presence manifests Himself. Sometimes we don't have the attitude that we need simply by ignoring the word of God, ignorant to what God says. Let me know. I will tell you when we pray, when we ask, we have Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does not come from the heavens. Amen. He does not come from the heavens because He has already come. Le Seigneur dit, the Lord là où says, Dieu pour toi, là où 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 Dieu pour Si nous nous assemblons, on so nous dit que c'est le nom de Dieu qui est là. Et là où le Seigneur est, c'est là où se trouve son esprit. Donc cela veut dire que si nous sommes venus aujourd'hui, si nous nous sommes réunis, nous sommes venus aujourd'hui, nous sommes venus aujourd'hui, nous sommes venus aujourd'hui, nous sommes venus aujourd'hui, not in a culture of sense. Not because we know each other. Not because we have the same race. Not because we have the same problems. But this is the only reason for which we are here is Jesus Christ. If it is why you are here, if that's why I'm here, then the Spirit of God is here. But the problem for the Lord is not the Holy Spirit to be around us, but for each person to open the door so that he may dwell in us. The success for your spiritual life, for my spiritual life, is when the Spirit of God dwells within me. When he enters in my life, when he enters in my body, and now he leads me and he guides me. So when we pray, we say the Holy Spirit is here, the Lord is here. If you do not understand spiritual things, you are in ignorance. You are waiting for him to come down from heaven. You are waiting for the group to open and for him to manifest himself in one way or another. He is here. Simply because the word of God says it. Because it is the promise of the Lord. The Bible tells us that the God that we serve, He says one word and it will accomplish it. So if God has said, if you are here, I am with you. And because He said so, it means that He is here. It means the Holy Spirit is with us. The problem is your heart. The problem is my heart. It is not to shout. It is not for us to sing. It is not to praise in whatsoever way. This can all be necessary. But if the heart is not prepared to receive the Holy Spirit, you waste your time. Amen. And you miss the occasion to receive the help of you for your life, for my life. I cry, I have problems, I am suffering, I'm looking for a solution, I pray, I fast, I ask the Lord, I make sacrifices. He says the problem that you have 
Only the Holy Spirit can resolve it. I send him in order to have you. But my heart is closed. The door of my heart is closed. I do not want to receive the Holy Spirit. But I want to have solutions with God. But God has established the solution will come to the So if I do not change, I will continue to walk in difficulty. Send the Spirit. Holy Spirit. C'est la Spirit de Dieu qui est saint. Donc le Saint-Esprit, c'est une personne mais qui n'a pas de forme physique. C'est un esprit. Un esprit, on ne le voit pas. On ne le touche pas. L'esprit, il est immatériel. Il n'a pas de corps physique. Il n'a pas de corps physique. C'est ça l'esprit. This is the spirit. But the Holy Spirit can manifest in a physical way, in a physical way, or in a body. 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 Or dans la Bible, nous verrons que in the Bible we see that le de Dieu est descendu sous forme de colombe. The Spirit of God came down upon the Christians. Sur le Seigneur Jésus Christ. On the Lord Jesus Christ. Sous forme de colombe, aujourd'hui nous dirons un pigeon. In the form of a dove. Cela veut dire que le Saint Esprit a pris une forme. This means that the Holy Spirit physique. took a form, a physical form. On a vu. That could be la, seen. La colombe. It was a dove. But the Holy Spirit Himself, He has no physical form. We read the Bible and we see that the Holy Spirit is manifested in the form of fire. The fire is the Spirit of God. The Spirit is Spirit. He has no form. Pour se manifester devant les gens, il peut se transformer. Et parfois, c'est sous forme de vent. Et parfois, c'est sous forme de vent. Ça peut être un vent doux. Ça peut être un vent doux. Ou alors un vent qui est fort. Ou un vent qui est fort. Il se manifeste. Il manifeste une forme. Le vent ne le voit pas, mais on le sent. On sent qu'il y a le vent. C'est l'Esprit de Dieu qui est en train de se manifester. Il prend cette forme-là. And sometimes in an expression that you will see water as a physical manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Let's be very careful. The Holy Spirit means that is spirit. He has no form. But the Holy Spirit can sovereignly, when he wants, where he wants, he can manifest himself into a certain form. So if I am waiting for the Holy Spirit in a certain form, I will be blind. Myself. La plupart des fois, il vient sans une manifestation corporelle. Ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette manifestation. Mais ce n'est pas parce que je n'ai pas vu cette Without having seen, I have not yet seen. Without having seen, I know. I know. I know. I know that he is there. In the same way, when I am given a prophecy on a specific topic, I have not yet received the answer. But because I received this prophecy, I know that I will come at a conference. I know that I will be healed. I am not yet healed, but the message sent it. And because I trust in God, I know that I will have it. In the same way as with the presence of the Holy Spirit, before I am living a manifestation, I am already certain. I am sure that He is there, that He is present. It is only when I place myself in this type of position will I begin to live extraordinary things. There are things that we live with the Holy Spirit. In French, we say invisible. Invisible is something that we can't even describe. We can't even describe. There is no word. That cannot be described in this language. What have you felt? I don't know how I can describe it. Because there are no words to explain it. But it is the experience of the Holy Spirit. We insisted on one thing. That's often the problem. It's the heart.
I pray for John because when the heart is ready, we can see things that the eyes cannot see. We see them. There's an image that's used. The heart has eyes. The heart has eyes. But the physical eyes cannot see. Our heart can see them. Saisir, sentir la présence de l'Esprit. Le message de Dieu est très important que si tu es préparé, tu es préparé. Si tu es préparé, tu es préparé. Mais si tu n'es pas préparé, ça va te passer par ça. Et beaucoup de messages qui nous sont passés par ça, c'est les mêmes condamnations contre nous. Parce que quand Dieu permet que ces messages viennent, c'est pour nous aider. C'est pour nous assister. C'est pour nous donner la voie. 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 Pour nous donner Because the Lord will remind you these things they were said to you on this day, at this time, you were there, but you did not want to take account of this. So who do you want to blame now? There is no one else. It's only my son. So today I say, we see the same thing. How do you see the Holy Spirit? In John 20, 22, Lord appeared to the disciples. Nous commençons verset 21. Jésus leur dit de nouveau que la paix soit avec vous. Ça c'est après la résurrection. Ils apparaissent. Jean 20, 21. Commençons là. Jésus leur dit de nouveau que la paix soit avec vous. Comme le Père m'a envoyé, moi aussi je vous envoie. Après ces paroles, la Bible dit, il souffra, il souffra peu sur eux et leur dit. Recevez le Saint-Esprit. Donc le Seigneur dit au lycée que la paix soit avec vous. Et après, il souffla sur eux. Il leur dit Recevez le Saint-Esprit. Recevez, cela veut dire Moi qui veux recevoir, je dois faire quelque chose. Le Seigneur n'a pas mis le Saint-Esprit à nous. Mais il leur dit, recevez. Si moi je te dis, reçois la lettre. Tu dois faire un geste de moi. Souffle, je dis, recevez le Saint-Esprit. Le Saint-Esprit, le Saint-Esprit, le Saint-Esprit, notre capacité à recevoir le Saint-Esprit ne dépend pas de notre religiosité, parce que je viens à l'église, parce que je prie beaucoup, parce que je prie beaucoup, ce n'est pas ce qui fera que tu reçois le Saint-Esprit. Je peux être là chaque jour, je peux être ceci, je peux faire cela, je peux prier plus que les autres, je peux être plus que les autres, je peux être à l'église tous les jours, je peux être à l'église tous les jours, mais ce n'est pas ce qui fera que le Saint-Esprit. Ce n'est pas à cause de l'effort et du même que je fais. Because of human efforts, I'm doing this and that. No, there is no human effort that will allow you and I to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be sent to me as a favor, as a favor coming from God. If I understand this, I know how to place myself in this position where I wait for a favor, a favor that I do not deserve, but the Lord gives it to me as a favor. Dans sa souveraineté. Let's hold on to this. We'll remind you all the way to the end. I have to prepare my heart. I have to prepare my mind. I have to prepare my mind. I have to prepare my inside. To turn on the sound. To turn on the sound. To receive the Holy Spirit. 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 I want to have the Holy Spirit. I want for the Holy Spirit to dwell in me. I want to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. This is starting in my heart. This is preparing itself. This is profound desire. I want to receive the Holy Spirit. I will tell you there are people that are in churches that want to have the Holy Spirit and that do not want to have the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is the same person. They want you, and they do not want you. They want you, and do not want you, but they are in church. 
We pray, we speak, we preach, we sing, we praise. I want you somewhere. I want you and I don't want you as well. We have many barriers within us. Et parfois ces barrières sont plus simplement la peur. And sometimes these barriers are just due to fear. Je me pose beaucoup de questions. I ask myself many questions. Parfois j'ai vraiment envie. Sometimes I really want. Parfois j'ai vraiment envie. I really want to go. I really want to receive. Mais il arrive des moments où j'ai des questions. Mais il arrive des moments où j'ai des questions. The Holy Spirit. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui ont trop de zones d'ombre dans leur vie. Ils ont tellement, il y a tellement de choses de ténèbres so qui ne parlent. So si le Saint-Esprit venait, si l'Esprit venait, quand il venait, si l'Esprit venait, il y a des choses extraordinaires qui se passent. Il peut révéler les choses de ténèbres dans ma vie. Mais si l'Esprit venait, mais si l'Esprit venait, je suis partagé, je ne sais pas. Est-ce que je fais? Je suis en train de faire pour aller vraiment jusqu'au bout. Ou je ne sais pas. Je fais un 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 pas. I am there going open down, going up and down. I go forwards, I go back, go forwards, go back. Je n'ai pas ce désir là sincère, profond. I don't have this sincere and profound desire. C'est sûr que tu me plais. C'est sûr que tu me poses des questions. I am asking myself some questions. Moi-même, je sens qu'il y a quelque chose qui ne va pas. Myself, I feel that there's something that's not going well. I want you, but I hesitate as well. À cause de cette hésitation, rien ne se passe. À cause de cette hésitation, je ne progresse pas. À cause de cette hésitation, je ne progresse pas. Mais nous avons dit, le Seigneur est en train de toquer. Moi, je sais. Je suis en train de toquer. Mais il est en train de toquer. Il est en train de toquer. Si quelqu'un entend ma voix, si vous ouvrez la porte, je vais entrer. Le Seigneur est là. Je vais entrer. Moi et moi, j'ai beaucoup de questions. J'ai beaucoup de questions. J'ai beaucoup de questions. J'ai beaucoup de questions. Est-ce que moi aussi me also. I ask, I start to ask myself questions. I finally ask God. It's me that's blocked. It's not the church. It's me. It's my own life. It's my own heart. It is there that things are not going well. It's not outside. I prefer self in sanctification. I have a problem. I ask for forgiveness. I committed a sin. I ask for forgiveness. It is easy. Sincerely before the Lord, He forgives. If you confess your sins, He is just enough to forgive you. So if I ask for forgiveness, He forgives. God is good. It is what He says in His word. But who has to ask forgiveness? It's me. I have to recognize first that I want to do that. If I hesitate, it's good or bad. I will not ask for forgiveness. If I ask forgiveness, he will forgive. And because he has forgiven, I take the engagement to follow this way. We are bringing ourselves away from sanctification in Germany. We walk in obedience in God. I take this engagement to make efforts, do all that I can in order to obey God. This is the prayer that I said. 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 Yes, we have limits. We are not asked to force. We are not asked to force. We are not asked to force. Don't force things. There are things that you will not be able to do. There are things that I will not be able to do. The Lord knows this. But what He asks is for me to do my part. Do your part. Recognizing that you've done bad is not God that will do it. When you've done something bad, when I've done something bad, it is for me to recognize it. It is not for God. So I have my part. I have things that I have to do. And where are we be living? It is the Holy Spirit that I call upon. It is Him that will come to help me. Sometimes we are blocked because of questions of sanctification. We will come back to this. Nous sommes bloqués, mais nous oublions. We are blocked, but we forget. The spirit of God when He comes, He sanctifies us. Amen. Si nous croyons que nous allons obtenir la sanctification, we believe that we will receive sanctification. Without the Holy Spirit, we are lying to ourselves. We will never be white, pure before God. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, we ourselves will try. We will always fail. But the Holy Spirit of God will come and He will do something. In order to place us in this state, we are acceptable. So it is for myself to say, Say, am I ready? Am I prepared in my heart? What I have this profound desire. Is it clear? Is it clear that I want to be prepared? Or am I still hesitating? Or am I still asking? Is it clear? Do 
si je veux, alors que je fasse que je réalise les conditions qu'il faut, que l'Esprit de Dieu vienne m'habiter en moi. J'ai des équipes, je peux faire des efforts, il y a des choses qui vont marcher, il y en a qui ne vont pas marcher, mais je sais que les Saint-Esprit, quand il viendra, il viendra, si je suis arrivé, arrivé vraiment au bout, c'est essayé, mais c'est pas ma limite, c'est ce que je veux faire à la place, je vais continuer à faire ma vie, pour que les choses soient bonnes. In order to bring me to the end, it is because I am in Jesus that God has sent His Spirit. So I will take advantage of His help in order to bring me to the end. I will say, Lord, Lord, I want you. I want you to accomplish your will. I want you to accomplish your will in my life. But this is my limit. Lord, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, sustain me. How does the Holy Spirit intervene? Comment nous recevons le Saint-Esprit Il y a des personnes There are people qui ont reçu le Saint-Esprit dans la Bible de manière spontanée. On ne sait pas pourquoi. Vous êtes là, vous priez, vous êtes là, vous priez, vous êtes là, vous priez, vous êtes là, vous priez. Qu'est-ce que cette personne a fait 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 Sometimes this person has not even asked for the Holy Spirit. And the same year, they do not know anything. They are praying, and the Holy Spirit comes. The Holy Spirit seizes the person, and things happen. We were there on Friday to see the spoke of Cornelius in Acts chapter ten. He was seized just like that. Where is he? He does not even know the Lord Jesus Christ. He was just praying to God. He was not even Jewish. He prayed maybe to a God that he did not know well. But the Spirit of God sees them. Because God sends the Spirit. And the Spirit sees what he wants. It is not according to the criteria of men. It is how God wants. He can see his lack of right. We see that no. He does not feel the conditions. It is not this. No, that's us. That's human. The Spirit of God works the way he wants. But those left and right, he intervenes as he wants. It is not for us to judge the Holy Spirit, which is left and right. There are people that are seized spontaneously. There are people that have a life of prayer, a life of obedience to the Lord. They pray to the Lord. They obey the Lord. They make that choice. They do what they can as humans. And one day the Holy Spirit sees them. These people did not go and ask for the Holy Spirit specifically. Simply pray, simply have a relationship with God. One day, something happens. The Holy Spirit begins to manifest itself. Maybe the person begins to see it. But how did it happen? Question mark. It depends on God. There were two of them. There were three of them. But why just him? Why just her? Question mark for us. But it's God. The Holy Spirit comes. He knows what he wants. The moment he wants. All the people maybe later. For that person, in that moment, God intervenes. He received the Spirit of God. He came to manifest himself. And after, we have the church category of those who ask for the Holy Spirit. I pray, Lord, give me your Spirit. May the Holy Spirit come and go with me. Send your Spirit according to your word. The Bible says, if you know how to give good things to your children, how much more would the Father not give the Spirit to those who ask Him? He is there, the counselor, he is with Christians. Up to the end of time, but is he with me? So I ask, begin to ask, Lord, may the Holy Spirit come in my life, not for him to come from heaven to his day, but for him to rest in my life, for him to fill my life. Holy Spirit, here I am, and I pray, I need you. I need you, Holy Spirit, fill me, fill me. And in prayer, in prayer, in prayer, in faith, in trust in God, one day, the Spirit of God will be in the midst of that. One day, the Holy Spirit begins to work in the life of this person. Maybe it's your case. Maybe it's my case. Maybe it's my case. Maybe tomorrow, after tomorrow, the Lord will allow me. I will give a few advice. If you want, it's the only condition. You really want. It's a desire for you. 
un désir pour des motifs. Bon. A desire for good motives. Ce n'est pas pour être connu. It is not to be known. Ce n'est pas pour avoir de l'importance. It is not to have importance. Ce n'est pas par envie. It is not by envy. Ce n'est pas par rivalité. It is not by rivalry. Ce n'est pas pour la gloire du Seigneur. But it is for the glory of the Lord for me. Que le Saint Esprit vienne m'aider dans ma vie. For the Holy Spirit to come and help me in my life. Non pour le miracle. Non seulement pour les miracles. Miracles are a small problem for the Holy Spirit. The first thing is to change what God wants you to do. That's the greatest thing. So if I would want the Holy Spirit for this, there is some advice. There is some advice. Don't tell me. 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 Don't
sortir de manifestation, c'est facile. Je vais sortir, aller à la toilette, je vais me dire que ça se manifeste parce que non, ça ne va pas arriver. Moi, je ne suis pas ici, je ne voudrais pas aller, je ne voudrais pas descendre, mais je ne sais pas ce qui va arriver. On est tellement imbus de nous-mêmes, ça veut dire que c'est un peu une sorte d'orgueil de notre personnalité. On ne veut pas ces choses-là, c'est pour les gens qui sont rien, c'est les gens qui sont rien. Je ne sais pas ce qui se passe. 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 Je ne
Holy Spirit Set intervenes. Holy Spirit manifests yourself within me. Holy Spirit fills me. Totally. 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 Don't expect me. I've taken away our problems for you to take control. Alors juste un mot sur ce qu'on appelle les manifestations du Saint-Esprit. Quand l'Esprit de Dieu vient, When the Holy Spirit of God comes, il peut se manifester de plusieurs façons dans ma vie d'entendre. Il peut se manifester dans ma vie d'entendre. En français, on dit, on peut pas mettre le Saint-Esprit dans une boîte. Ça veut dire que pas mettre le Saint-Esprit dans une boîte. Ça veut dire que... Moi, je ne sais pas dire comment le Saint-Esprit va être. Je ne sais pas comment le Saint-Esprit va être. Alléluia. Parce qu'il est souverain. Parce qu'il est souverain. Si je dis quelque chose, si je dis quelque chose, cela ne peut être que par la révélation qu'il me donne. Mais que moi-même, je dis dans le Saint-Esprit, je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Il agit comme il veut. 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 So we must be very careful with the manifestations of the Holy Spirit. We will cite a couple of manifestations, but we do not want to say that you will link this. That means that there are people that have linked this. But you, I do not know. Me, you do not know. Him, you do not know. Mais il y a des gens qui ont vécu ces manifestations. Si je n'ai pas la révélation, je ne peux pas dire ce que le Holy Spirit va faire avec vous. Je vais citer quelques manifestations. Si un jour tu les sens, tu dis, tiens, le Holy Spirit manifeste ça. Moi je ne les avais pas. Il y a des gens qui ont senti les jours qui ont vécu des années et des années. Il y a des gens qui ont vécu des années et des années. Il y a des gens qui ont vécu des années et des années. Il y a des moments où vous priez. Il y a des moments où vous priez. Vous êtes emporté dans la prière. Vous vous sentez simplement comme s'il y avait un courant dans vous. Comme si quelque chose qui... Quelque chose qui... Quelque chose qui... Tout cela. Quelque chose qui... Je sais que c'est comme si... C'est du sang qui circule. C'est comme si... C'est comme si... C'est un peu froid. Quelque chose selon la personne. C'est comme si... C'est comme si... C'est comme si... Mais dans son corps, il sent comme ça. Ça se répète même. Ça se répète même. Ça se répète même. Ça se répète même. They feel it and then it happens again. And so every time they pray, every time they pray, they feel it. They don't understand the spirit of God is saying, and he's the door knocking. We feel it. And so they 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 feel it. Il y en a qui tremblent. Il y en a qui tremblent. Il y en a qui tremblent. 
qui sont agitées. Agitated. Il y en a qui ont aussi en France. Donc ce sont des différentes choses. They were shaking. Vous sentez vraiment la personne. C'est nous, c'est ce qui est très courant dans nos milieux. Comment ils se manifestent dans la vie de quelqu'un Ça dépend de lui. Il y en a qui commencent à rire simplement. On peut donc prier pour que quelqu'un commence à rire. Ils commencent à rire. Ils rient. 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 Ils The Holy Spirit can touch someone like this. It can, the manifestation can happen like this. There are those that place themselves in prayer and they feel within them a peace, a profound peace. They have problems. They have difficulties. They begin to pray. And then a certain moment they feel it's a peace. They feel a peace that the world will not give. Tellement profond. So profound. Tu te demandes. You ask yourself, I have problems. I have difficulties. Mais une paix très profonde. There is a profound peace in your heart. But they do not see that it's the Holy Spirit that is touching you. That is at work. Il y en a dans ces c'est l'expression faciale, le visage. There's some ways the facial expression. Tu as vu ça? Tu 
have to pray. You have to ask for the assistance of the Holy Spirit himself. Because God wants to give you more. What you have to say is insufficient. God has reserved you more. No matter the manifestation you have to say, God has reserved you more. He wants for you to enter into this spirit, into this communion. Hallelujah. Amen. Nous n'oublions pas de souligner le risque s'attache à toutes les manifestations extérieures. That is to all external manifestations. Tout ce qu'on a dit, all that we've said, tremblement, shaking, losing consciousness, ah. entering in a trance, air chaud, air froid, hot air, cold air, rire, laughing. Crying. Tout ça. All this. Qui est extérieur. That is external. That people can see. The devil can imitate it as well. Le bon problème c'est pas de juger les autres. So my problem is not to judge others. Le bon problème ce n'est pas de tomber dans le piège. My problem is not to fall into the trap of the devil. Parce que le diable sait que. Because the devil knows. S'il fait ça. That if he does this. Les gens seront facilement trompés quoi que ce soit. He can lie to you and think that it's God. He can use you. En te faisant faire ces choses. In making you do these things. The only way that you can avoid it is to fall into this trap. That I can avoid it. It is to always walk in sanctification. Sanctification. If you abandon sanctification, you will be having these manifestations that come from the darkness. You will enter into trance and speak in tongues. You will prophesy, but it will be demons. It will not be God. To dwell in sanctification, in obedience. You keep these manifestations pure. If you leave God, you leave importance to external manifestations. It's as if it was the most important thing. The devil will use them. He can manipulate everything. All that is external, the devil can do it. If he does it elsewhere, that you never be used in your life by the devil to do these things. Because if he uses you, he will destroy you. The devil does nothing good. He will use you. He will not use you in church or elsewhere. Sometimes you don't even know it's the devil using you. And he will destroy you afterwards. Because it's his strategy. He will turn against you. To so avoid falling into the trap and keeping your relationship pure with the Lord. It is the only guarantee. There is nothing else. Look at the word of God. Look at the Lord. And do what he asks you. Obey. Say to the Lord. If what is happening within me is not from you, Lord, take it away. Take it away. I don't even want to wait. I just want to say this. It's not from you, but if it's yours, let it grow. Repent it more. In a bond, I hope all men shall. And the Lord will do. Amen. Amen. Can we pray to you? For you to receive the Lord. Two years, five years, ten years. There was still nothing. Because of all that we said in relation to the Holy Spirit, there is a problem. There is a problem. Here we're not saying you have to come and shake. Since you, since all these years, you come to church, you leave the way you came. And you ask how this person, it's me that preached the word to them. They came with you six months and look. It's you that has a problem. It's me that has a problem. It's my heart. It's my heart. It's my heart. It is not outside. There is something not working within me. I have to take away these barriers. I have to take away these obstacles. I have to abandon myself totally. The half of the Holy Spirit is there. But if I did not accept it, if I did not open myself, if I did not create the conditions for Him to enter within me and to dwell within me, how will I benefit? So for this, there's nothing. There's still nothing. There's something that's not working. But don't look for certain manifestations. Simply for the Holy Spirit to take control. The Spirit testifies to the Spirit. That means at a certain time, 
external manifestations or not, you will start. You will begin to understand that the Spirit of God is really You've never felt the Holy Spirit. I'm not speaking of external manifestations. But you yourself to begin to feel as I am here, the Holy Spirit is in you. So there are moments where you feel when someone looks at you, you say, it's not the same person. It's not the same sister. not the same brother. It's the Spirit of God. Totally. You've never had this test. Since when was tested, you've never felt the Holy Spirit. It's internal testimony. There is a problem. So that each and every one of us prepare ourselves to put ourselves in the best. 